What's up fellow YouTubers? I just want to do a quick um, a video of how to um, add um, ringtones or notification sounds from um, Zedge onto an iPhone. So if you ever owned an Android, um, you know it's super easy, you just go to Zedge app and um, you click on the tone that you want and it basically you download and it asks you if you want it um, as a uh, ringtone or notification and you're done. <clears throat> With iOS, you know, it's it's super complicated, you really can't do it that way, but there's a workaround to do it and I'll show you how. And I can really can't take credit for this because I actually seen this from um, a fellow YouTuber, his name, this is him, I just want to give him credit. It's Daniel about tech. So he's the one that did the original video. Um, he sh kind of goes into um, all the features about of the from the app that you're gonna have to use, and he kind of just talks about. Um, he goes into a more of a depth, in depth review of the uh, app. I'm just gonna do a quick um, way just to show you how, and um, I also want to show you how to actually get a tone from Zedge before you actually start using the app. Um, so I've been using Samsung for the last, I don't know, a few years. I had a S10, S20 Ultra, 21, 22, and that's what I have now. I um, Last week I got this thought in my head that I need to get an iPhone, which I did. Um, there's a lot of things that I don't like about it compared to the S22. There's a couple things that, that I do like, but there's actually more things that I don't like. For example, not having picture in picture when I'm watching YouTube videos. Um, I was watching a show yesterday on Netflix. Once I get a notification, my volume goes down for some reason until I dismiss the notification, which is super annoying. Um, I don't know, there's just some things. The notch is just super annoying, the way, how big it is. Um, I mean, there's some things I like, I'm not going to lie, but most of the things I don't like. But So what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to... I posted both of the phones for sale, S22 Ultra and the... The iPhone, whichever one gets sold first, I'll keep the other one. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. But anyway, let's get into this. So you go to Zedge, um, Zedge.net, which is a um, website. So there you go. So all you're gonna need is basically this, and you're gonna need an email to email it to yourself. Okay, so browse now. Let's just, I don't know, pick something random. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin for all the wrestling fans. His um, famous intro with the glass breaking. Okay, so we're gonna download this. So top uh, right download. It's gonna be in the queue. It's gonna take about 10 seconds. Okay. I'm just gonna view it, show it in a folder because it's easy for me to see it that way. I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop so you can see it right here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up an email. Okay, I'm gonna compose an email. So I'm just gonna hide this real quick. Hide my email address. I don't. Um, Uh, I don't um, edit, everything's <laughs> done um, the first time, so that's basically it. So give me one second here. All right. So what I did here is I just uh, <clears throat> pulled up my email, I um, emailed it to myself, so let me go back here, I emailed the attachment to myself, okay, so watch this, so we're basically done with this, so there you go, I got an email, okay, so next I'm going to open up my email, so... So this is where I was on previously. Okay, so here's the, this says now, Stone Cold. 
Okay, I'm gonna save it. Save to files. Save. Okay, I'm done. Now, you're gonna go to this app called GarageBand. It's in the Play Store. So only works in this view. Okay, so here's the major parts. You Once you open up the app, you're gonna get all these options. You're gonna choose audio recorder. You're gonna get the screen. You're gonna click on the blue triangle. So blue triangle, one. Second thing is gonna be the bricks. You're gonna get this. So now, next thing you're gonna do is gonna click it on the plus sign, which is uh, top right corner. For some reason it's, okay, I got it. You're gonna change the section A to 30 seconds, which I don't think you really have to do that because this notification is, is not 30 seconds, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because that's what Daniel said on his video. So 30 seconds done. You're gonna get this now, so you see you have the 30 seconds bar. Okay, next thing gonna click the second uh, option, which is this loop looking thing. Click on that, it's gonna take you to your um, files. Gonna click on your files. Now these are all the ones that I did, which I'm gonna show you later on. So you're gonna browse, you're gonna look for the new one, and here you go, Stone Cold at 12.08, it's 12.09 right now, so a minute ago you're gonna click on that. It's gonna take one second. It's right here. No, sorry, it's right here, Stone Cold. You're gonna click on it and drag it. Okay? So see, it's only like seven seconds because it is a notification. So that's it's right there. Next thing you're gonna do is gonna click on this upside, upside down triangle. You're gonna go to my songs. So here's your last one from 1208. You're gonna click and hold, you're gonna share. It's gonna give you song, ringtone, project. I haven't used song or project. You're supposed to click on the ringtone. And now it just gives you the um, Basically to save it, I'm gonna save it as Stone Cold. Okay, done. Okay, I'm gonna export. It's taking like a few seconds and that's basically it. Ringtone export successful. successful. Okay, I'll close down the app. I'm gonna to go to my notifications. So settings, sounds and haptics. Okay, so see if I go here, here you go. Stone Cold is here. I can set it as a ringtone or a second set it as a notification. This is a Blackberry, uh, like a. This is a Blackberry. Um, from my BlackBerry Curve, which I used to have back in the day, I always liked this uh, notification. This is for my alarm. That's what I had on my um, Samsung. I really like that one compared to the one that's on the iPhone. I know there's different ones, but I like kind of like this one. The NBA on NBC. And then the NFL on CBS, which is like really loud, but... So that's basically it. I'm going to stick with the NBA and NBC for now. And that's going to be my um, ringtone. So that's how we do it. Um, it's a pain in the ass. Yes, it is compared to the Samsung. But um, if you don't just want to have the generic, um, generic ringtones, that's how we do it. But yeah, so we'll see whichever one gets sold first. That one's um, going to be shipped out. And whatever I'm left with, I'm going to keep. I'm actually recording this video on my S22 Ultra right now. Um, I wish there was a way to kind of put them both together, you know, as one phone, which maybe that's going to happen eventually. But uh, like the screen on the S22 is so much better. I feel so much brighter than on this. Um, oh, here's another thing, the picture in picture I was talking about. So I don't know, let me go to home. So they said the picture in picture doesn't work on YouTube, which it doesn't. But if you get the YouTube uh, premium, um, it works. So I got YouTube premium last night. So let me try something. Um, I right, here you go. Okay, so song is playing, right? 
I'm gonna take it back to the home screen. There's no picture, it's just the sound. So you can listen to the sound, but no picture, which is super annoying. Compare my S22, I just put it down and I, you know, I have it. So, and like no always on display, which is super annoying, which like I always have to tap to see if I have any notifications and stuff. But like I said, whichever one gets sold first, I'm keeping the other one. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer, but this seems um, pretty simple. Couple extra steps. Thank you.